Hello everyone. I am V Hinduja, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, Saint Joseph's College for Women, Tirupur. Let us see the basic definitions in topology. So, what is topology? It is basically a collection, say T, of subsets of a non-empty set, say X. This collection of subsets should satisfy the following four conditions to be a topology. The first condition is the empty set Y should belong to T. The second one is the set X should belong to T. The third condition is the union of the elements of any subcollection of T is in T. That is, if we consider an arbitrary collection, that is A1, A2, etc., An, etc., in T, then their union, that is, union over I, Ai, should belong to T. The fourth condition is the intersection of elements of finite subcollection of T is in T. That is, if we consider an finite subcollection, that is, and elements the a1 a2 etc a n and t then their intersection that is intersection over i equal to 1 to n a i should suit t the topics that we are going to discuss are first one discrete topology next industry topology finite complement topology countable complement topology basis for a topology standard topology lower limit topology and finally k topology discrete topology it is nothing but a collection of all subsets of any non empty set let us see the example consider a set x is equal to a b c then the collection the empty set singleton a singleton b singleton c the set a comma b the set b comma c the set c comma a and the set x is a discrete topology because it contains all the subsets of the set capital X. Next, in discrete topology. In discrete topology of a non-empty set, say X, is a collection of only two subsets, that is the empty set and the set X. This in discrete topology is also known as trivial topology. Next, finite complement topology. This is a collection, say TF, of all subsets U of X, where the subsets U should satisfy the following condition, that is, x minus u is either finite or it equals x. Countable complement topology. This is a collection, say, Tc of all subsets u of x, where the subsets u should satisfy the following condition that is, x minus u is either countable or it equals x. Next, basis for a topology. This is a collection, say, script to be of subsets of x. That should satisfy the following two conditions. The first condition is for each element, say x in capital X, there is at least one basis element, a B, that contains x. The second condition is if there is an element x in the intersection of two basis elements, say B1 and B2, then there should exist another basis element, that is B3 in B, such that x belongs to B3, which is contained in B1 intersection B2. These subsets are also called these elements. Next, standard topology. Let us consider a collection, say script B, of all open intervals of the form, open interval A comma B. Then, this collection script B is a basis for a topology, and that topology is called the standard topology on the real number set R. Next, lower limit topology. Let us consider a collection say script B dash of all half open intervals of the form half open interval A comma B, which is closed at A and open at B. Then, this collection is a basis. The topology generated by this collection script B dash is called the lower limit topology on the real number set R. When R is given the lower limit topology, we denote that R by RL. Finally, we will see the definition of key topology. Let B double dash be the collection of all open intervals, open interval A comma B, along with all sets of the form open interval A comma B minus K, where K is the set of all elements of the form 1 by n. Here n is the positive integer. Then this connection script B double dash is a basis and the topology generated by script B double dash is called the key topology on R.
when r is given this k topology we denote that r by rk